I'll turn this down. No, he can hear me. I'll turn it off, actually. I don't think you'll be able to hear me. Don't think you'll be able to hear me. But I tell you what, it's really hot, so I... I miss having it on, you know what I mean? Okay. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, finish Jeremiah 51, and uh, I want to tell you something. There was a time I used to think Jeremiah 50 and 51 were talking about Iraq and our time, and who knows if if Russia starts helping the Kurds destroy ISIS, which to me is Islam, uh, that just might be the fulfillment. Complete fulfillment of Jeremiah 1551 in our time. Okay, I want to tell you, uh, Jeremiah 50 and 51 is about the destruction of Babylon. And Babylon is located in current day Iraq, the ruins are. And ISIS is now in Iraq, surrounding Baghdad. Okay, I'll continue now. Okay. Their vanity, this is talking about the uh, images, uh, the work of errors, in the time of their visitation they shall perish. And I think this is, was fulfilled because when, um, uh, at the end of the first Gulf War, when the Americans, uh, well, when the Kurds and the Shiites raised, uh, uh, went to try to overthrow Saddam, they destroyed his pictures. And then when America came a second time, the Saddam statue was destroyed. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. And I don't know who this is that God's talking about. Could be, the, could be uh, Israel. Could be... I have no idea um, who, what, who, what this is talking about. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For thee, for thee I will destroy, well, I'll break in pieces the nations, and with thee I'll destroy kingdoms. Let's talk about uh, Islam? I don't know. And with thee I'll break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee I'll break in pieces the chariot and his rider. Now, this could be talking about car bombs, which was fulfilled, which would, which would have been fulfilled with the car bombs in Iraq. Because when a car bomb goes off, the first thing that gets it is the car. And if he's doing a suicide thing, a suicide bombing with the car, then he's killed. The first thing, I'll break in pieces of the horse and his rider. Could be the car and his rider, or the, the driver. I think I'll break in pieces of the chariot car and his rider, the driver. I don't know. Could be. And with the I'll break in pieces man and woman, and with the I'll break in pieces old and young, and with the I'll break in pieces young man and maid, and with the I'll break in pieces, break in pieces of a shepherd and his flock, and with the I'll break in pieces the husbandman, and the yoke of oxen, and with the I'll break in pieces the captain and captains and rulers, and I'll render unto Babylon, Iraq, ISIS, Islam, and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea, Kuwait. All their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord. Set up a standard in the land. Blow a trumpet among the nations. Prepare the nations against her. Call together the, against her the kingdoms of Ararat, Mini, and Ashkenaz. And you want to know where Ararat, Mini, and Ashkenaz are located? They're located in what is now present-day Kurdistan, up in the north, over Iraq. Appoint a captain against her, cause the horses to come up to, uh, as the rough caterpillars. For the longest time, I thought this was, I thought the Kurds were going to come down with our American troops during the last, during the, in 2003. And of course, they didn't, but now maybe with Russia they will come down and they will attack Babylon, Islam, ISIS. We'll see. Yeah, prepare against the nations, the kings of the Medes. 
And of course, Medes are also located where the Kurds are. And also, northern Iran, the captains thereof, and all the, um, the rulers of, uh, and all the rulers thereof, and the land of Ismi. It could be Iran, you know, in our time. And the land shall tremble in sorrow, for every purpose of the Lord shall be performed against Babylon, to make the land of Babylon a desolation without an inhabitant. And that means what I think it means. And if this is talking about ISIS in Iraq, around Babylon in our time, the ruins of Babylon, then it sounds like maybe Iran nukes the place. We'll continue here. One post shall uh, run to meet another, and one messenger to meet another, to show the king of Babylon that he's taken that one in. And to me, this was fulfilled because Saddam didn't use phones because he didn't want to be found out. He was using carriers to let him know what was going on in Iraq while he was hiding around in a spidey hole and stuff like that. And before that, he was... Even before he was in the spider hole, he, oh, spider hole, he was using carriers and messengers because he didn't want to get hit by missiles and, and assassination targets. So he didn't use the phone. To, so he thought he, was, he thought he'd be caught. Yeah, one post shall meet another, and one po a messenger shall meet another. Show the king of Babylon that a city is taken. I went in. I think that was fulfilled in 2003, and that the passages are stopped. And the reeds, they have burned with fire, and the men of war are frighted. To me, that was fulfilled when Saddam dammed up the marshes in northern, in southern Iraq to get the marsh Arabs. He dammed them up and dried up the marshlands. It was a green place in, two, in, in 1990, and they became brown because he dammed them up to get the marsh Arabs, or a Shiite. And the passages are stopped, and the reeds they have burned with fire, and the men of war are frightened. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her, yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Well, we'll see. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, hath devoured me, hath crushed me, hath made me an empty vessel, he hath swallowed me up like a dragon, he hath filled his belly with my delicates, he hath cast me out. I don't know if that's old time. I don't know if that's going to be happening. I don't know if, if Israel's going to get nuked or wherever it is, you know. Yeah. I used to think this was talking about <laughs> Iraq swallowing up Kuwait. <clears throat> the violence done to me and my flesh be upon Babylon, shall the inhabitants of Zion say. Yeah, yeah done to, to I, Islam, the inhabitants of uh, And the blood upon the uh, inhabitants of Chaldea shall Jerusalem say. Who knows what that means? Therefore saith the, the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will plead thy cause, and take vengeance for thee. I will, I will dry up her sea, and make her springs dry. And uh, Turkey is thinking of cutting off the water to the Euphrates, to dry it up. And Babylon shall become heaps, a dwelling, a dwelling place for dragons, an astonishment and a hissing it, without an inhabitant. Of course, that's happened with Babylon, but it sounds like if, if ISIS in the place is the new Babylon, being that's in Iraq with Babylon, hey, they shall roar like lions. They shall yell as lion, like as lion whelps. In their heart, I will make their feasts, and I will make them drunken, that they may rejoice and sleep a perpetual sleep, and not wake, saith the Lord. And I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter, like rams with he goats. And you know something that seemed to be fulfilled just a few weeks ago when ISIS. Uh, uh, captured the, they, the, 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 the the Iraqi uh, soldiers who were Shiite took, took off their uh, uniforms to try to hide, but they still looked down like lambs to sl slaughter. They were on they were on they were on uh, pickup trucks. I mean, they were on they were taken lined up and put in a ditch. It was like they were like lambs to the slaughter there. How is Shishak taken? How is the praise of the whole earth surprised? How has Babylon become astonishment among the nations? The sea has come upon Babylon. And she is covered with a multitude of the waves. Right? Who knows what that means? I don't know. Maybe they destroyed the dam and it floods down. I don't know. Her cities are a desolation. Her cities are a desolation. So it's not just Baghdad. It's not Babylon. It's not just Babylon. But you know, her cities. That means like Mosul possibly. Basra, etc. Her cities are about a desolation, a dry land, and a wilderness. A land wherein no man dwelleth, neither doth the son of man, any, doth any son of man pass thereby. And I'll punish Bel and Babylon. Allah, in our time. 
and they'll bring forth out of his mouth that which he has swallowed up. I should think they're talking about bringing forth Kuwait out of, uh, out of um, Iraq. And the nations shall not flow together any more unto him. And I used to think this was talking about uh, uh, the embargo that was put on Iraq. And they no, they no longer flew unto they no they, they no longer flew unto Saddam until he was taken out. Then they lifted the uh, embargo, the oil embargo. Yet also the wall of Babylon shall fall. Uh, the defenses of Babylon shall fall. And boy, that's true. No defenses of Iraq. My people, go ye out of the midst of her and deliver every man his soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. They're trying to right now. now they're trying to get out of there. Because they don't want to get killed by ISIS. And before that, in Mosul, they didn't want to get killed by Maliki. And lest your heart faint, and you fear for the rumor that should be heard in the land, a rumor shall uh, both come one year, and if that then another year shall come of rumor and violence in the land, ruler against ruler. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> when I saw the song statue go down and nothing happened, I thought, well, hey, because it came in in 1990, 1991, and then in 2003, nothing happened. So, oh well. I don't know. Okay. Then the heaven and the earth, and all that therein, shall sing for Babylon, for the spoiler shall come upon her from the north, from, say the Lord. And the spoiler is either the Kurds, or Russia with the Kurds. Or it could be just Russia, because Russia right now, Russia is coming down and giving them air cover, or they give, I don't know who, but if, 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 if Russia starts giving the Kurds air cover, and the Kurds do it, well, I'll, I'll think it's, you know, a great, it'll be, behold, the people shall come from the north, and a great nation. In other words, behold, I think that means the, the, the Kurds will come from the north, and a great nation, Russia, helping them. But I won't get excited, really, or think, whoa, this is late, until I see the Russians are with the Kurds. I can't see America doing that with the Kurds because I think ISIS is a blamer's people. You know, he's the one that funded them and armed them and trained them in Iraq, in, in Jordan, to overthrow a Saddam. So why would he now attack them here? You know, he's acting like he doesn't like them, but he funded them with our money. You know. Okay. Then the heaven and earth shall and there uh, and all that are therein shall sing for Babylon, for the spoilers come upon from the north, saith the Lord. As Bob, as now this is kind of creepy. As Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall, so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the earth. And I don't know if that's metaphoric, figurative, you know. Nuclear war breaks out when ISIS is destroyed. I don't know. Or this, when we got rid of Saddam, nothing happened. So maybe this is talking about ISIS. Who knows? You that have escaped from the sword, go away. Stand not still. Remember the Lord afar off, and let Jerusalem come into your mind. Okay, but anyway, I've got to stop it here. Bye. Let's see, where am I located here? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think I'll end it here. I mean, there's more to it. Um, talks about, well, what the heck, I'll continue this thing and see what you think here. Alright. Yeah. We are confounded because we have heard reproach. Shame hath covered our faces for strangers to come into the sanctuaries of the Lord's house. Now, that could be talking about the sanctuary. Uh, we're, uh, Foreigners have come into the destruction of into the temple. That's what's left of it. Or it could be talking about walking, coming into the sanctuary of the Lord's house. If you're a Christian, your body is the Lord's house. So you got you like your zombie thing here going on. Uh, wherefore, behold, the days come, says the Lord of hosts, that I'll, I'll do judgment upon her graven images and through all her land. The wound, the, the wounded shall groan. Though Babylon should mount up to heaven, and though she should fortify the height of her strength, yet for me shall spoilers come unto her. Now, th I used to think this was talking about Iraq in our time. Because Saddam did mount up to heaven, had the fourth largest army, and then we came and destroyed it. Or, now, it could be talking about ISIS. It had to fortify the height of its strength to the point of declaring a caliphate. Yet from me, the Lord, shall spoilers, Kurds, 
Russians, because I don't think America is going to try to destroy what they created. It shall come unto her, saith the Lord. A sound of cry cometh from Babylon, a great destruction from the land of Chaldeans, the Kuwaiti area. Because the Lord hath spoiled Babylon, destroyed out of her, her great, out of her the great voice. Allah, what bluff, maybe. When her waves do roar like great waters, the noise of their voices uttered. Because the spoilers come upon her, even upon Babylon, and her mighty men are taken, every one of their bows is broken, for the Lord God of recompense shall surely require. And they'll make drunken her, peace, her princes, and her wise men, their captives, and rulers, and mighty men, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep, and not wake, said the Lord, whose name is the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken. Yeah, it happened, but it could be talking about defenses in our time with Iraq. Um, and her mighty, yeah, take it, yeah, yeah. Upon the Babylon, the mighty men are the Lord God of recompense shall surely quiet and I'll make drunk her peace. Yeah. Um they shall sleep or perpetual sleep and not wake, so by the host. Thus saith the Lord of Horse, the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly broken, and her high gates shall be burned with fire, and the people in shall labor in vain, and the folk in the fire, and they shall be weary. In other words, it sounds to me that uh, those Kuwait oil fires are gonna start up again and people be weary. But I'll tell you what, you know, it is, because we went over there, we tried to help it, you know, and then look what happened. You know, uh, Biden said that uh, Obama would be uh, remembered, this was the greatest, Iraq would be his greatest achievement, but now you find out it's all been for nothing, it's all been in vain. Yeah, because our guys labored in vain there, because it's gone to hell with ISIS, and they shall sleep a perpetual sleep, and sleep. yeah. And the people shall labor in vain, and the folk in the fire, and they shall be weary. The word which Jeremiah the prophet commanded Zariah, the son of Neriah, the son of Messiah, uh, Messiah, Messiah, I don't know. When he went to Zedekiah, the king of Bab Judah, into Babylon, the fourth year of his reign, and, his, and this Zariah was a quiet prince. So Jeremiah wrote, Jeremiah wrote in the book, all the evil that would come upon Babylon, even all these words that are written against Babylon. And Jeremiah said to Sariah, When thou comest to Babylon, you come to Babylon, and shalt see, and shalt read all these words, then thou shalt say, O Lord, thou hast spoken against this place, to cut it off, that none shall remain in it, neither man nor beast, but that it shall be desolate forever. And it shall be that when thou hast made an end of the reading of this book, that thou shalt bind a stone to it, and cast it against the Euphrates. And thou shalt say, Thus shall Babylon sink, and shall not rise from the evil that I will bring upon her, and they shall be weary. Thus far are the words of Jeremiah. And that makes me wonder if Sariah did this. I don't. I, it makes me, I, since nothing happened all these years, he probably never did it. But what would happen if you went to, to Iraq and you read all this Jeremiah stuff, and then you bound a stone to it and cast your Bible into the Euphrates? Would this finally end the world? I wonder. But 